This is what my document for creating patterns at least uh, used to look like. That was my uh, working artboard where I created my pattern. And this was my preview. So if I, for example, select one element here, you will be able to see it in real time. So on this extra artboard, I had my preview and I had an extra artboard with uh, 11,000 pixel square uh, dimensions to export to my POD shops. This is how I used to work. And this is how I work now. I'm not using any artboards. I am simply building everything on one uh, canvas and I utilize the clip to canvas option to clip out everything else and to use the space around my main pattern tile to build my repeat and to place some other design elements that can help me make better cho choices when I'm designing, for example, my color palette or building simult simultaneously some mock-ups where I can see how the pattern is working and if it, if it looks good, <laughs> if it's worth creating and then sending over uh, to a potential client. If a document doesn't have artboards, if you're working with clip to canvas here, as I do, then it means that you don't have any artboards at all over here. So also when you're exporting, when you go, for example, to the hamburger menu and you click to export, you will be only exporting the main uh, document uh, canvas and you will not be exporting anything else that is outside of the canvas automatically. So if I wanted to export, I will be exporting only this. Everything else that happens to be around this main pattern tile will not be exported. For example, all those mockups or the color palettes. So here we are really focusing on only one output and all the elements that are around, they are only there to help us. This approach for me personally is way better and more flexible than before. That's why I switched from using uh, the live pattern preview to using my automated templates. But I actually use uh, no artboards documents, not only for patterns, I also use it for normal uh, spot illustrations. Let me show you an example. Yeah, recently I got hooked up on uh, creating vector buildings, vector architecture. For example, this is Warszawa or Warsaw, the capital of Poland. Let's open this document together. This is what it looks like, but if I wanted to focus only on this main piece, all I gotta do to kind of kick out all the elements that are around that might distract me is to utilize the clip to canvas option. And this is also what will be exported, just like I mentioned. This is my main piece and everything else that happens to be around is only to help me to design. So I have my reference photos, which by the way, I found directly through uh, the Affinity Designer software. So if you click on this question mark here, it will show you a little cheat sheet or of where the things are. And uh, they also have stock photos here. This is the icon that you have to select. And you can, for example, start typing in, maybe let's do it in English, Warsaw, and it will give you a whole bunch of reference photos from Pexels and from Pixabay, which are, um, you know, you can, you can use them without any legal issues. So you're not infringing any copyrights. So I took advantage of those stock photos and I used them as my reference photos. I have a dedicated color palette, which I also actually saved up as an asset. So if I click on it, you will see from the layers panel, Oh, it's in my references, I have this color palette saved up as a vector asset. This is where you can access your vector assets. I have also all the design elements in here. And just like I said, I also have my color palettes over here. I also managed to complete a few other uh, illustrations. This is Bydgoszcz, the city where I come from, Poznań, a city that is nearby, and Gdańsk, a city on the seaside. I love those cities so much, so I started by illustrating those cities first. And uh, once they were completed, I have copied and pasted them onto this document because I was able, for example, to copy some elements as I was working on this new illustration so that it looks like a serious 
and it looks more concise. For instance, of course I have the sun also saved up as an asset, but if I wanted to save time, I just go to this old illustration, two fingers on the screen and I make a copy of it. And this is how I was able also to have a look, ah, for example, see the sidewalk over here? I took it from Poznań. <laughs> so that was just my way of uh, speeding things up. I basically like uh, putting all the elements that will help me in designing uh, outside of the canvas because I know that in the end this is what will be exported. So this doesn't really matter.